Welcome back to GamecocksOnline.com. I'm joined by head volleyball coach Tom Mendoza as we get ready for week two. Gamecocks hitting the road for the Rice Invitational. And coach, as you kind of close the book on last weekend, what were some final thoughts you had kind of looking at the film and kind of seeing how the team did against those three uh, matches? Yeah, it was, um, you know, obviously a great weekend, but, you know, we moved on from it. You know, we tried to learn some different things. Um, you know, I think the thing, the takeaway was that each match was had a very different feel. Um, you know, we played very clean in, inside out and, and passing in, in, in Clemson, uh, whereas we had to grind for some more points, uh, again, especially against ETSU on that first day. So uh, it was good to see that we could win in different styles and play different styles and have different strengths to our group. I don't know if that's something we could have said. Uh, a f you know, a few months ago, or especially in the spring. So, um, yeah, obviously that's a positive uh, and something we'll look to build on. But at the same time, uh, there were also different things in each of those uh, matches that you know we could have been cleaner at. So, uh, a lot to learn from. Hopefully, our, our players have taken some stuff away as well. But uh, we're we're 100% focused now on Liberty. And it seems like just the general theme for your opponents you're facing this weekend is a lot of 6-2 offenses. We're facing a lot of three hitters. A lot of varied offenses where it's not one team relying on one specific hitter. How have you kind of started the game planning process for the opponents you'll be seeing? Yeah, you know, a lot of teams right now this early in the year are, are figuring out, um, you know, coaches sometimes you have a, a plan going into, especially that opening match of the weekend, and, and you, know, you quickly start making adjustments and, and players, uh, you know, are competing for spots on, on every team right now. So, uh, and it's the same with us as, as the three teams that we're, that we're preparing for. So. Uh, but like I said, 100% of our focus right now is on Liberty. Uh, they're they're a good group. They had some, you know, they could have gone three and zero last weekend. They could have gone zero and three. Every single set they played was extremely close. Uh, for example, they had a, they had a, a set that went 43-41 that they lost. So I mean, how many plays within even that set could have gone you know the other way and and swung that match? So uh, you know they're they're gonna be a tough opponent. We saw them a little bit last spring. Um, you know, they're, they're having new coach as well, so they're trying to kind of build on, on what they're doing. So, um, you know, we feel like we're prepared. Uh, right now we're traveling and making sure that we uh, handle that well, get, you know, take care of everything today, uh, finishing up classwork tomorrow, and then hit the road and, and be prepared for that trip. And it seems like defensively in, in the first weekend, the team is very strong and serve receive passing out of that, but not as strong kind of defending the in-system offenses of the opponents that yeah. you faced. What have you kind of done to shore that up in this week of practice? That's tough. I mean, there's in-system in uh, defending is very difficult. That's why you hope other teams aren't in-system very often. So, um, you know, we really tried to, you know, you know, the faster the play and the higher the level of, of volleyball, the you can't have inefficient movements. And that's what really we've tried to look at our film and said, okay, where was our body positioning? Um, you know, where did that go away from where it needs to be and how can we adjust it? So, uh, again, that's, you know, first week of the year. Uh, we try to be as prepared as we were, but, you know, there's obviously things that we want to get better at. So, uh, hopefully, after we look at the week, uh, the film from week two, we see some of those improvements. And it's always interesting to be early in the season, going on the road. Uh, what do you hope to see out of this team? It's a veteran team, but what do you hope to see kind of in a road environment where it's a little bit different than just being at home that first weekend. Yeah, there's you know there's positives and negatives to uh, you know being on the road or being at home. Um, you know, I thought being at home, the crowd was just phenomenal. Uh, but sometimes that can be overwhelming. You know, you want to you know, there's that pressure to want to give your your crowd something to cheer for. Uh, and I thought we handled that really well. Um, you know, now it's going to be a different challenge of going and creating that uh, excitement and that energy on our own. We're not going to have. Uh, all those great South Carolina fans to help us create that energy. So we have to, you know, we have to create that. You know, I think our group has gotten better at that. Um, you know, there were some times where I thought maybe we played a little bit flat uh, in the spring, and now our group is playing with a little bit more fire. Um, but at the same time, we need to be, be steady. So we can't be so focused on creating energy that we have those ups and downs. So uh, different challenges. Um, you know, I haven't been to that gym, so we'll, we'll get there. We'll have a good practice tomorrow and, and start to get familiar with it. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.